Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I have some Civil War Navy buttons that I want to sell. Cool. Did you tear apart a jacket or something? Or? <laughs> it's a good possibility, you know, somebody in the Civil War, they were actually fighting in a battle and had those buttons on their uniform. I never had any piece of American history before, so it was kind of neat coming across that. It's not something you find every day. I'm hoping to get $1,300 for them. I really don't have any use for them, um, and I could definitely use the money more than the buttons. <laughs> So you got any of the backstory on them, or? Um, I found them in a house that I purchased, and I found out that the previous owner's grandfather was enlisted in the Navy during the Civil War. OK, he was a uh, Union, right? Yes, he was. The Navy was kind of like the unsung heroes of the Civil War. The North just brought the ships down, blockaded all the ports. It crippled the South. I mean, they couldn't buy anything. I mean, they couldn't get bullets for their guns. Everything was rationed. I had no idea. During the Civil War, the South had to get a lot of their supplies from Europe because they didn't have anywhere near the manufacturing that the North had. So a major part of the North strategy was to block Southern ports so they couldn't get their shipments. Kind of hard to fight a war without guns and ammo. It's got the Eagle. It's holding the anchor. Obviously, it's Navy. So what exactly are you looking for? I just want to make sure they don't say made in China or something <laughs> on them. But they're made by different people, so that kind of makes me wonder if they're all from the same period. Do you have any idea of what you might want to get out of them? I'm hoping $1,300. $1,300. Kind of in a predicament here. I know the Navy, they kept some of their uniforms for almost 100 years. Oh, wow. So you might have something really cool here that could be worth a bunch of money or nothing at all. Well, hopefully <laughs> it's worth a bunch of money. <laughs> I need to get somebody down here and kind of tell me exactly what these buttons are and how long they've been around. So who are you going to call in to look at these buttons? Uh, he's the administrator of the Clark County Museum system. Probably the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, I'll be right back. OK, sounds good. Accurately dating these buttons is really important. If they're from the Civil War, they're a lot more collectible than they would be if they're from the turn of the century. That can mean the difference between zero money and thousands of dollars. Oh, interesting. So the Navy played a big role in the Civil War, right? Oh, yeah. If we hadn't had the Union Navy, we wouldn't have been able to blockade all the ports in the South. That made a huge difference. It intercepted a lot of the firearms that the South was trying to bring in. So it was an effective force. Most people, when they think of military in the Civil War, they think about the Army. They tend to forget the Navy, and yet the Union Navy had a huge part in helping to defeat the South by blockading the, the ports, by coming up the Mississippi River and attacking from the river. Is there any way to actually tell for sure their Civil War? I mean, they do look like they're made by different people. Yep, and that would make sense. From 1850 to 1941, we didn't change the design on these buttons. Every time they needed another batch of them, different button companies would bid on them. So what we have to look at in order to tell whether they're Civil War is who made them and how they marked them. Oh, that's nice. That's, that one was actually made in London. Now, that's a different one. Interesting. And some of these are not easy. Of what I'm seeing of the back stamps, given who did them, you know, Scoville and Horseman and Sons and some of these companies, these are all major manufacturers. I think these are Civil War buttons. Oh, wow. This is, they, they date right. They're either 1850s or early 1860s. They're not real common. And the nice thing about this group is that there are a number of different manufacturers. And button collectors tend to want a button from everybody who put out that button. So it's a nice find. It's right good to mark. know. All right. <laughs> Gave me everything I needed, buddy. It was interesting to see these buttons. You know these came off a uniform. Somebody wore these during the battles. They're a tangible tie to that time period. You told me earlier 1300. I'm sure there's probably like a grading system for these. Pristine ones like this one, I would say, is in really good shape. Mm -hmm. Compared to this one, not so much. That being said, I'll start off around 200 bucks. I've seen these types of buttons sell for thousands, and I've seen buttons sell for pennies. It's really a crapshoot depending on the buyer. 
So I gotta be cautious with my offer. How about a thousand? Some had different values online than other ones. I think I can probably make some decent money off them. It's just, it's gonna take me a long time to do it. I'll go up to 400, I'm not paying anymore though. I'm really not. 600 and you have a deal. I'll pay you five, that's it. All right, you got a deal. Deal? All right, cool. You gonna pack these up and meet me over there? All right. I actually was expecting to be offered a lot less, so $500 is definitely a good payoff. It was worth a little bit of digging. 